One dog, one and a half. Yep, yep, that's all I brought with me. Well, everybody, welcome back to the good old Southern IA. It is a very cold, as in relatively cold, 35-ish degrees today. Very windy and wet day outside. So it's a great day to work on this thing. What? What? <laughs> And if you guys saw from my last community post, I had you guys take a guess at what this thing might be getting turned into. One person got it right and another person had a really pretty darn funny comment. So I sent both of them a sticker. And in the good spirits of today, my favorite comment it posted in the comment section below within the first 24 hours, I'll pin it and I'll also send you a sticker. This is a 300 gallon sprayer that I bought uh, a few years ago as in I was going to try and apply some nitrogen to the hay ground and I kind of got the wild idea that maybe it'd be nice to turn this 300 gallon sprayer into basically a CRP firefighting rig because CRP which is a uh, crop reserve program I think is exactly what it stands for is basically native grasses that the government pays you to grow on your ground and they make you do mid management deals where you either have to disc it or burn it and stuff like that and a lot of people choose to burn it and so you do a controlled fire and to do that you have to have a water source to control the fire. I ended up working on this a little bit last year where I ripped the boom off of the back, built this very snazzy looking uh, wooden deal. Well with last spring being the way last spring was, it was extremely wet, raining every other day. We never had a chance to burn and then once it got fit to burn everything was green so it wouldn't burn. So the game plan for this thing here is, is that this thing has a th manifold that has a three section control valve on it. I was originally gonna keep this thing on there in case I ever wanted to convert it back to a sprayer. I don't think that's gonna happen. This thing's gonna be designated as a fire truck basically. So that's all gonna get ripped out. Gonna widen the spacing out on the wheels to as wide as possible. Going to remove everything that doesn't need to be on here. Then I'm gonna replumb it using a pump that's sitting over here behind me, which is one of these small little roller pumps. If this one's not good, I do happen to have another one sitting here on the shelf. So stick around, hang out with me and my dad today. And like I said, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if I happen to really like it, I'll pin it and send you a sticker. Oh, and don't forget to like the video. Pin it, enjoy it. Maybe it doesn't like being picked up though. Do the back end, the back end would lift up. Well, try it. Roll it over the force on the bobcat and pick. Uh, no, that was the other idea.
Yeah, that'll be fine. Two logs in the end of it'll work. Yep. That'll be good. That'll hold it. So after some debate between the two of us, we've decided that uh, we're going to mount the manifold for the new system. And basically this is just going to be a designated CRP burning rig now. I'm never going to go back to sprayer. Uh, and instead of using wood, welded a couple of up beams and then we can put the manifold right here. And uh, that'll be a lot sturdier than having wood risers. Where do our marks it is? We used it to make the marks. <laughs> no, we used tape to make the marks, kind of. So here's a quick update on where things are at. We have removed the entire front manifold from this thing. It's all the way out of there. It's done. We then picked up the back end of the sprayer and we moved the wheels of the sprayer out. That will give us more stability as we're pulling it through the field with a wider footprint. See if that's the right size. One inch pipe here, galvanized pipe. Yeah, Put but that's got to be cut to a certain length. Oh, they, they have, they have pipe. They have, they'll have sections. They always have sections. Then we can just basically put this to wherever that is, and then you just mount that to the pipe right there. That pipe would hold that thing solid out here. And you get all put like three bands on that pipe right there. Piece of metal pipe. Get us a ninety degree going this way. some of that in this package of sprayer stuff that I had. from here up there. Yeah. 
Oh. Plastic one broke. Old plastic. Out of commission. No. We've got one of those. Take a picture impact on it. Do it. Well, guys, we got this done here. I'll give you guys a quick little run, Brown, and if I get a chance to test this out tomorrow, I'll put it in after the credits. So without the pump being on here, here's the supply to the roller pump that will be connected to the PTO on the tractor. The supply will come up here, go through this manifold that we've built here today. This here is basically a pop-off valve or a pressure valve. So once we get to a certain pressure, it will pop off and return it back to the tank so that you continually have pressure going to the hoses that you want to have hoses going to and that way you're not turning on and turning off the pto all the time and then after we get through the pop-off valve we move in here to this t this t right here is where we actually put we kind of cannibalized my older sprayer stuff to kind of take some stuff off and t's and things like that put a pressure valve in there it'd be good to know what pressure we're running out of the sprayer this pressure will tell us all of the pressure for the manifold. And then we put a ball valve in here so you can turn it off here. Uh, that's actually what ends up feeding up here to the garden hose, which I happen to put another ball valve here because that's actually how we made the connection. It's got two ball valves that doesn't hurt anything. Obviously that garden hose rolls back here to the back where this garden hose on a reel is and this is most likely what we will be using the majority of the time to fight the fire uh, just a little bit of water kind of on the back burns nice tidy and my mom will probably borrow it to water her garden this year and then moving through the manifold here we got a straight shot to a one inch ball valve and what we're going to end up doing here is if once we get some of the flexible one inch hose we're gonna throw this sucker right here. This is a firefighter hose tip on the back end of it. So we'll probably put 20 or 30 feet or something like that of one inch flexible hose on here. And then if you're in a situation where you really need to fight the fire, you've got one inch hose of water supply and 300 gallons to try and get something done. So that's actually how the project ended up here today. There's a couple of things that's not completely finished. Obviously, like I said, we gotta test it out still. Um, I'm going to turn this back part here, which needs to get finished up, into kind of like a carry-all with a removable gate. So I'll put some plywood down in here. That way, if we're carrying around things that we need to carry around for the day, you know, we'll throw them in there and be able to carry something. If possible, I think I would like to try and weld on like a, a, some type of seat right here. That way, the one guy can be driving the tractor. Now this will be really slow. And the other guy can actually be sitting on the sprayer tender and spraying the back burn if we are doing that instead of just walking along the edge. Might keep the hose up out of the weeds and be a nice thing. We'll maybe try and get that done. So guys, let me know what you guys think of the build in the comment section below. I really enjoyed reading all the comments from the community post. 
uh, they, I got a giggle and sent out a couple of stickers and maybe some of those uses might actually end up being used for this here sprayer. But if you guys haven't yet, hit the thumbs up button for me and uh, always consider subscribing to the channel. And like always, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, it's so a quick recap. Garden hose on the back, that's got pressure to it. That's probably what's gonna be, be used the most. Uh, the roller pump is on the PTO. That's how we're gonna get the pressure. It's gonna be using PTO power. The manifold's all done up. This here might leak because I have not fully secured this. I just put a proof of concept one inch hose onto the firefighter nozzle. So we'll be able to test that out here in a little bit. Luckily, I didn't lose my lid on the way over here. Oops. What do you say we throw up the PTO and see if it sprays? Okay, turn it on. So the pressure gauge is working. That's good. So what we have right now is right about 60 PSI, which I could continue to increase, increase that. So we're gonna hold out at about 60 PSI, I'm thinking. That'll be all right. Let's see if it'll spray. say that's the success and I 
You got any firefighter fantasies or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, that didn't really solve that problem, I guess. But, he's having fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.